excuse the mess that is my face. It is hot, very hot, hotter than usual, and I have no air conditioner. So yes, spring has sprung and it is super hot. And as I live in Michigan, I'm used to being winter most of the time. So it's usually very cold and it is like 80 degrees out today and I'm just sweating really bad. I know you guys wanted to know that, but I'm just uncomfortable, so uncomfortable. Oh my gosh. Also, on a different note, I changed where I'm standing because I have a book haul and there's a lot of books and having books around me while I'm sitting is just a difficult time and it's very inconvenient. So I just felt like a change. So I changed. Isn't that super interesting? Like I even reorganized my room so I could do this because you're on a bookshelf right now. Yeah. But first, let me get to what did she buy this time? And I don't have a pretty little graphic right now because like I said, my video editing thing broke down and now I just have my crappy windows editor thingy, whatever it is. But, so I don't have a pretty little graphic for you right now, but I don't really have too much to show you guys anyways, but I have a few things that I want to show you guys that I'm super excited about. But one of my favorite YouTubers is um, Philip DeFranco, and he's basically a little news show, and I absolutely love his show. He's very funny, and he just tells the news with a slightly biased opinion, but I agree with most of his opinions, so it's okay. But I bought two of his posters off of his website, but one of them is this one, Keep Calm and Bamf On, and it has Philip DeFranco's head on it. I'm super excited about it because Philip DeFranco's awesome. But yes, my other poster that I got, you guys will appreciate a little bit more if you guys don't like Philip DeFranco. Oh, it is the death mark. It says, join or die. And it's so cool. Look at it, you guys. Oh my gosh. But yeah, I'm pretty sure I bought more stuff, but I don't remember what it is. So, I guess that was kind of useless. But I just wanted to show you guys those posters. So, let's just get on with the book haul. There's a lot of them. There's so many books. Oh my god. So let's just begin. I'm just going to start out with a book that you guys already know about because I mentioned it in my TBR for this month. It is Between the Lines by Jodi Bacalt and Samantha Van Leer and I'm super excited about reading this. It Obviously it's already on my TBR and I just got it. Usually stuff sits on my TBR for a very long time before I pick them up but you could tell that I was very excited about this. The next book that I have I got not a Drop True Drink by Mindy McGinnis and I was thinking about getting this a very long time ago but I, I thought it was just going to be another trilogy and I really didn't want to deal with the trilogy but then I heard it was a standalone so I got super excited and picked it up because I absolutely love standalones because they're awesome in short and I don't got to get invested in a very long trilogy and have to wait for every single book to come out and I don't know why I just said a, very, a trilogy is very long but still I got this book. Next I got Bruiser by Neil Shusterman and I really like Neil Shusterman. I've read quite a few of his books and I'm just super excited to read this one because I've heard a lot of good things about it. Next I got another Neil Shusterman book. It is Full Tilt and I've actually read this book before but I gave it away and I don't remember why but I'm going to find out why because I bought this used for really cheap so even if I don't like it, it's a pretty book collection. Next I bought The Red Pyramid by Rick Riordan and this didn't come with a book jacket. I knew it wasn't going to because I bought it at a store but I'm just like whatever. I bought a lot of Rick Riordan books and hopefully I like this one but if I don't then it's not that big of a deal because I don't have a book jacket for it but if I do I can always rebuy it. But I honestly have no clue what this book is about. Absolutely no freaking clue because there's no book jacket to tell me and I don't feel like looking it up. So I don't know. Maybe I'll like it, maybe I won't. Next I bought another Rick Riordan book, The Lost Hero, and again I bought this at the thrift store used, and I just thought I'd pick it up because everyone always raves about all of Rick Riordan's books, and I'm just going to read them all. And there, it'll be all read, at least the first book in a couple of series, and then the whole Percy Jackson series. Next I bought two Nicholas Sparks books, A Walk to Remember and The Rescue, and I've read, I've watched the Walk to Remember movie and it was incredibly sad and I've never really even heard of this book but I bought it because Nicholas Sparks is either a hit or a miss for me. I absolutely loved the last song and I absolutely hated the notebook so 
50-50 chance that I'll like both of these books. She has like a 25% chance that I'll like both of them. But yeah, let's get on with other stuff. The next book that I bought is The Fame Game by Lauren Conrad. And honestly, I've just been very curious about these. Either everyone likes them or everyone hates them. And I've heard that it's decent writing for, an for a beginner author. But <laughs> I don't know. I thought I'd give it a try. There's no, there's no hurt in trying, I guess. Next, I bought The Forest of Hands and Teeth by Carrie Ryan. And my friend raved about this book and so I thought I'd pick it up. It sounds like something that'll be up my alley, so looks like a zombie book, honestly, and I haven't read a good zombie book in a little while, so why not? Next I bought I Tell You I Love You But Then I'd Have to Kill You by Allie Carter, and I don't know what I'm expecting from this book, but I just remember seeing it on one of my friend's bookshelves when I was younger, so I might as well read it. It was used, like most of the books I buy, but Maybe I'll like it, maybe I won't. Apparently that's how a lot of the books are that I bought this month is, but whatevs. Another book that I bought this month is P.S. I Love You by Cecilia Ahern. And I really wanted to buy a Fields book apparently, because there's a lot of those in here too. But I, it looks like a very sad book and I want to read a sad book. Because I never cry for books and I want to find a book that I cry in. Because I'm fucking crazy who wants to read a book that makes them cry except weird people and I know you're probably a weird person too so it's okay but yes I bought this book super excited to read even though it is a honker but I've read bigger books next book I brought, bought is proxy by Alex London and I bought the ooh, it's shiny but um I bought this at a bargain store that's why it has this little weird thingy going on but I have been looking at this book for a very long time and I'm super excited that I saw this at a bargain place for like two bucks and it was new with the weird thingy going on but I'm excited anyways. Next I bought The Casual Vacancy by J.K. Rowling and I know I attempted to read this when it first came out and I didn't like it but it was at the thrift store and it was so pretty and my phone's going off hold on for a second. What's up home skillet? Um nothing really why what's up oh my god no <laughs> okay well i'm filming something right now so this best not take long so my boyfriend called me and it made me put on pants and go outside but the bright side is he bought me a sub a cheesesteak hoagie and i'm so excited about this oh this is so good let's get back to the books i don't remember what i was saying about this book but I found it at a thrift store. It's a pretty book and I wanted to own it and I'm gonna try and read it again at some point in my life. The next book that I bought is Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children by Ransom Riggs and I read this a very long time ago when it first came out because my friend bought it and I read it from her and I remember really liking it. I actually remember liking it more than she liked it herself but I rebought it recently and I'm totally going to be rereading re -reading this because I'm super excited to reread this and see if I liked it as much as I remember. So yes. The next book that I bought is Gossip Girl by Cecily von Ziegzigzar. I don't know why I picked it up. It was at the thrift store. Pretty cheap. Don't know why I picked it up. Did I mention I don't know why I picked it up? But I just know that there's a huge following. So. I'm just gonna try and read it. Maybe I'll like it. Who knows? Who knows? Next, I bought The Dare by R.L. Stein, and this, again, obviously thrift store buy, but what I think is really cool about this is one, I used to read R.L. Stein a lot when I was little, but what I think is really cool is that there's still like the catalog card or whatever, the punch out card back here, and there's stuff from 1995. It just, I think it's just so cool because it's a little part of history from. This library that I don't even know where it is. Chelsea High School Media Center is. Chelsea Media Center. Whatever. Whatever. Doesn't matter. It's a part of history from that school. Next, I got The Bone Season by Samantha Shannon. And I know I mentioned about how I've, uh, I'm obsessed with authors with the name Samantha. This proves it. I bought two Samantha books within a month because it just excites me and makes me happy. And I've heard good things about this book. I'm super excited to read this because of the name Samantha. Is that bad? Oh my god. 
Next, I bought two Lemony Snicket books. But the composer is dead, and who could that be at this hour? And I've actually already read The Composer is Dead because obviously it is very short, and I was super excited to read it. But what I think is super cool is I bought this used, and I think it's signed. Like, I don't know if you guys can see it. Can you guys see it? But it kind of looks like it's signed. But I'm not completely sure. I might just be seeing shit. Seeing, seeing things. <laughs> but <laughs> but that would be super cool if this was signed. I don't know if I can get it proven or whatever. It really doesn't matter that much. But it's just cool that it might be. I don't know. Just leave me be with my weirdness. <laughs> the next thing that I bought is the ARC copy of Birth of a Killer by Darren Chan. And I actually have the hardcover of this already, but I saw this at a thrift store even though it says not for sale on the cover. Not for sale. But I saw it there and I was just like, I love Darren Chan. I love me some Darren Chan. So I just thought it would be cool to pick this up. Even though I already have the book. Whatevs. Next book I bought is Beyond the Highland Mist by Karen Marie Moaning and I absolutely hate this cover of it. It is so stereotypically a romance cover, but I've read a different book series by Karen Marie Moaning and I absolutely loved it. The Fever series, I absolutely loved it. And I am really excited about reading this, but I think I think I think it's kind of funny the cover because it I think it's the original cover, like when it was first published back in like the nineties or something like that. And now the new covers aren't as bad. It's just a man with a chest. Like it's a man's chest. But this is so just makes me giggle every time I look at this cover. It just giggles all around. Next I bought Midnighters by Scott Westerfeld and I own a lot of Scott Westerfeld's books because I really like his books and I'm super excited to read this book like every other book I ever own. Next, Poison Princess by Cressley Cole. I don't remember why I picked this book up, but I did. I don't know why. Yep. Next book I'm so freaking excited about because I love dragon books with a passion. I love me some dragon books, particularly recently. I remember when I was young, I didn't like dragon books so much, but I absolutely love me some dragon books now. Aragon is my shiz nuggets, but I picked up Serafina by Rachel Hartman, and I am just so excited to read this book, you guys. Ah, dragons. <sighs> Next, I bought The Goblin Emperor by Katherine Addison, and I'm excited. Yes. I, it looks cool. I want to read it. Next, I bought Redeemed by PC and Christian Cass. This is the last book in the House of Night series. And I finally finished the series, buying them all, but I'm pretty sure I've only read up to Burned, which is the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7th book. And I own like 13 of them. 12 of them. 13. I don't know. But I've only read half of them, but I own all of them now. That's half of, the, half of it, right? And nextly, I bought How I Live Now by Meg Rosoff. And dystopian. Sweet. Next I bought a, another copy of Water for Elephants by Sarah Gruen and I actually own the cup the one second I own the movie cover mass paperback book of it and I read it and I enjoyed it but I absolutely love the original cover. This cover is so pretty. Oh my gosh I love it so much so when I saw it at the thrift store I could pass it up. I don't care. I'm just gonna keep them both now because they're, it's a pretty good book. I'm excited because pretty things. Yes. Nextly, I bought I Hate My Selfie by Shane Dawson. And I really enjoyed watching Dan Jane, say Shane Dawson when I was younger. I think he was one of the first YouTube YouTubers that I ever watched. And I just, I think he's so entertaining. But I just picked this up because I'm like, hey, YouTubers with books, let's read them. Yes. And the second to last book that I bought this month is The Princess Bride by William Goldman. And I am so excited to read this book because I just reread, we watched the movie recently and I fell in love with the movie because I remember the first time I watched it I hated it. I think my tastes have changed in the years that I've been growing like they usually do with people but still I loved the movie recently and I picked this up and I'm super excited about it. And for those Princess Bride fans, I'm going to show you something one second. Look at what I got this month. The Princess Bride, uh, what is it called? Card pack. And these things are so cool. Oh my gosh, let me show you some of them. Joker. That is the Joker. He's only mostly dead. 
These things are so cool for all the kings, queens, and stuff like that. They're all different characters and stuff like that. And then there's, I'm not a witch, I'm your wife. But these cards are so cool, you guys. Oh my gosh, I'm in love with them. Are you guys jelly? I know you guys are. And then the last book that I bought this month that I'm super excited about, so super so excited about, is Bossy Pants by Tina Fey. And I love Tina Fey. Tina Fey is amazing. She's so funny. I absolutely loved her as Liz Lemon. Oh my gosh, she's so funny. And I want to read this and just absorb it into my face. Absorb it into my face. That stuck to my face a little bit. I'm a little sweaty. Well, yes, that is all I have for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed watching because I sure as hell love talking. I will see you guys next time.